Hello and welcome to Divinely Guided 999. My name is Lanetta and before I get started into this reading, I ask and give thanks to the universe for guidance, protection, and assistance with this reading. So this is a time where major changes and transitions are about to start happening. So let's tap into this energy. <clears throat> Holding on, sticking out, yeah. Yeah. These major transitions, I mean, these major changes that are happening is because you've been holding on to something. You've been holding on to this false person here. This false person have been trying to manifest you as well. But this person doesn't want to do what is necessary in order to make things work out with you. And you are being, as I've said in the previous two readings, your guardian angels are watching over you and guiding you towards a path of clarity and decisiveness. And that's why changes are happening. Yeah, what your true purpose is supposed to be, who your true person is supposed to be. Not saying that your true person is coming or is right around the corner, but what I'm saying is that these changes that are happening in your in your life is so that you can have um, uh, pride, so that you can gain priority around what is important, so that you can get back into balance, and so that you can be at a vibration of harmony. The relationships that you have has to be nurturing for you and the individual as well. And your home life should also be with peace, balance, and harmony as well. And prioritizing your home life. From the toxic, <clears throat> excuse me, from the toxicity. This person that you could have been holding on to is now trying to hold on to you. This person feels as if though you're attracting, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> damn, my voice keep going out. This person feels as if though you're attracting attention from others. This false person is a person that you may have a child or children by. And although they don't want to make things work by actually working on themselves, they still want to hold on to you. They see you everywhere. They constantly are being reminded of you. But the transitioning that is happening is for you to have your breakthrough. As I said, your true person. Because you've been holding on to this false person too long. And your true person is going to come once you have this breakthrough, once you go through this transition in your life. You're going to be prioritizing <clears throat> your children your home life and being in balance so that when you do become in a relationship it will be a true divine connection and not one of toxicity not one where it's ups it's ups and downs you know like you can go through different emotions of course we people 
But when it comes to like you had a messed up day and you you go and trying to mess up the next person day because your day was kind of shitty, that ain't right. You know, that that is a form of toxicity. So like based on the mood that someone in is how they are treating you. That is a form of toxicity. Now, System came out, and I'm not sure why System came out, but we're going to see. But yeah, this false person feels as if though their happiness is with you. This is someone that you obviously been back and forth with. Yeah, you're breaking through this unhealthy attachment and you are working on yourself. Something that this person don't really want to do. And this person is holding on to you and still speaking highly of you at the same time because they still want to be with you. They feel as if though you are what makes them happy, but it's not the same. You don't get the same um, vibration from them. Yeah, this balance is going to have you feeling down to earth if you're not already down, up down to earth person. This is going to prioritize things in your life, the reality of things, bring balance into situations, relationships, as well as in harmony where it needs to be. Because as I said before, nurturing relationships and uh, balanced home life is what is needed. You may be someone that is self-sufficient. And are so used to putting others first that cause you to feel stressed and not to even step outside much. It's one thing to be a homebody is different when you're just you, you just rather stay in the house and do nothing at all. It's people that are nosy in your business, suspicious about what you got going on. And jealous because <clears throat> of the breakthrough that you're about to have. Some of y'all could be in school or dealing with a fire sign. Or someone that is a fire sign could be schooling you, giving you tips on how to deal with this toxicity from this individual. How to deal with when this person moves when this mark when this person moves switches up and changes on you now this reading i tried to do earlier but I felt like I was kind of rushing it because I had to get started with my kids. But Earth sign did come out in this reading earlier. These actually these cards, these exact cards came out in the reading earlier. All of these cards came out in the reading earlier that I did, but I decided to redo it because I felt as if though I was rushing to do it because I was on um you know a short time. But yeah, this could be an earth sign that you are dealing with that is bringing forth toxicity into your life. And it's shifting your mood because this person mood shift. You don't even know how this person going to act shit the next time you see them. Even though you could have just saw them this morning. That's how moody this person is. That's how toxic this person is as well. And this is causing nothing but anxiety. As I said, it's one thing to be a house, uh, I said a household person. <laughs> it's one thing to be a homebody. It's another when you holding on your life, waiting on someone. 
And that's what you could have been doing by putting yourself last. Putting your life on hold. Meanwhile, this person is living theirs. You know. All because you viewed this person a certain way. But really, this is not the person that you think that this person is for you. What you thought this person was, it, it, it wasn't. You prioritize this relationship more than this person did. And now that this person feels that you are about to connect with someone that is true for you now they want to bring up the kids we we'll take care of your baby now they want to make it about the child or about the children now they want to work harder when it comes to prioritizing this and prioritizing what you have prioritized at one point now now this person wants it to be a balance and some harmony within this relationship that you two have because this person feels as if though you are supposed to be a part of their home life and just because you have a child or children together and now this person want to work hard <laughs> to do so let's see what a, what other um cards may need to be out what other messages need to be out here if any. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying, this person was living a life while you was putting your life on her hold pretty much for this person. And that's about to change. These changes are going to push you into a transition where you're going to be just better than you have been. This person is going to reach out to you. And when they per and when this person does reach out to you, it's gonna be on their free time. When they ain't got shit else going on, nothing else to do. And it's going to be strategic. Because this person already thinking about reaching out to you anyways. It's just going to be done with strategy. Yep. So be cautious in your relationship when it comes to this person. Yeah. Now this person wants to come in and prioritize you and don't want you to move on from them. As I said, they are seeing you everywhere. Now they're going to reach out and hopefully have this back and forth communication with you that they want to have with you. And it's about things that you two can sustain together. It's about keeping a balance when it comes to the relationship that you two have. And when I say relationships, I mean any relationship, especially if you have children with a person, that's a relationship off top, whether you together or not. Um, yeah, letting you know how they want to take care of their child, take care of their baby or take care of their children and how they want nothing but the best for you, how they how they are grateful and happy for the change that they see. Or that they feel that is coming through for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that this person wants to work harder when it comes to um, assisting you. Where you needed their assistance all along. And this is only this is only being said is because this person knows that you have good fortune coming in for you. This toxic relationship is in a disapproval 
when it comes to your guardian angels. They don't approve of this relationship at all. Because of the toxicity, because of the moodiness. One minute a person could express how much you mean to them, how much they want you and what it is that they want with you. And then the next, they treat you like shit. Yeah, yeah, but what this person is thinking about you when it comes to you attracting others or entertaining others, this is someone I don't really think with common sense. This is someone that thinks when it comes to things that they've seen other people do or they heard other people doing or some shit that they would just rather do they self. This is someone that doesn't necessarily have good judgment at all times. And someone that will keep someone else stagnant. And don't and don't know how to invest in things that are for their better good is because they don't have good judgment. They don't have the common sense to see when it's time to cooperate. When it's okay to go all in. It, be, it could be because of how this person was brought up. <laughs> yeah. This is someone that is confused. This is someone that don't really know what to do. This this is someone that don't really... Because how this person was brought up, the things that this person have seen, maybe other people go through, or that this person went through themselves. This person don't know exactly what to do. When it, Even when it comes to priorities. But yet they want forward movement with you. And when they do communicate with you, they're going to make sure that it's good communication. And they're going to be taking responsibility in the things where they um, shorted you at. Telling you how they learned and from their mistakes. And realizing how much happiness that you brought into their life. Yep. But it would be nothing but relationship troubles with this person. As it was before. And unfortunately, the next person that this person get with, it would be relationship troubles with them as well. Is because this is someone that is all about status quo. This is this is someone that's all about the looks, the like the material things. And when they don't have those material things, that's when they move just straight shift. Like they could be a good person or at least pretend to be when they have everything of what they feel that they want or need. But when that's not the case, then that affects the relationship that this person is in. And that's just not with you. That's with any relationship. This is how this person carries out relationships. I feel like this is why system is right here. It's because this is like a systematic thing that this person does. And then when it gets to the point of no return is when 
the realization is had. That's when the realization is had. Realizing that there's no one that's going to do the things that you do. There's no one that's going to be as reliable as you do. I mean, as you as you were. And be there when this person need, needs someone to be there. I also feel like this person also could be telling you this about them. Making you feel as if though you won't have someone that can help you out when it comes to you and the baby that you have with this person. Whether it's a baby, a child, or children. To cause you to think in an unhealthy way. This person is toxic. This is what people do when they try to stop your breakthrough. They start down talking you. They start downplaying you. They start making you feel like you. Like you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nobody. And like you can't do what it is that you're trying to do without. Without this person. That, that's not support. That's manipulation. <laughs> yep. This person feels like you are no longer the kind individual that they, they, that they sense you to be. Or not even sense, that they know you to be. You are changing as a person you are still that down-to-earth individual you are still someone that is self-sufficient and sensible when it comes to others and how others may feel that's why you put others first but what it is is that you're not going to allow this person to stress you any longer Yeah, you took your energy back. You took your power back when it came to this. And they got this person in their feelings. Because now this person feels as if though there's a it, this is a challenge. As I said, like when it's when it's to the point of no return, now you are being gossiped about. And it's only because you're changing. And you're about to head in a new season of your life. On your life's journey. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is what this person does. And I hate to say this, but I have to say what I, what I, what I get. It's like, I feel like this, with this person... When this person is in, I don't even want to say a committed relationship because I just feel like this is a person that's not committed in any relationship. Like I said, this is a systematic thing. And it's like when they find themselves being with someone that truly make them happy and that they really, truly care and feel, you know, that strong love and bond with, they don't realize it until it's too late. And then when the person decides to move on is when they want to wish on this person's downfall. They want to see someone struggle. That goes back to what I was saying as about like saying how, well, you won't be able to do this if that and that, you know, and, and then bringing a child or the children into it to make it seem as if though like you would really need their help when all along you've been needing this person. You know, all along you've been prioritizing this person. Meanwhile, this person have not been prioritizing you. And now and, and then this person realizes where 
the true happiness laid all along. When it's too damn late. Because change is on the horizon for you. You are about to go through a transition. You are moving on. This could be a Gemini. This person is unpleasant and immature, as I was saying. Moody, unpleasant, and immature. This person feels as if, as if though, you're, you're going to have a surprise love interest. And this is going to be someone that is true, your true love. So you can let go of unhealthy love and toxicity. What I say? And then surprise new love come out in reverse. <laughs> this person don't want you to move on. That's what it is. This person wants to have a new opportunity with you. And this person will go above and beyond to say whatever the hell they have to say in order for you to change your mind and keep at it with this unhealthiness. Because if you do, it's going to lead to the same old troubling problems anyways. You got success and prosperity coming into your life. And once you go through these changes that pushes you into the transition that you're supposed to be pushed into, this person that gave so many broken promises. And now I want to act as if though he's a helpful man with some good advice. Yeah, this person want to talk to you to work things out. Want to work something out. And what the talk will be about is about this person unhealthy ways. Damn, my stomach growling. <laughs> yep. And how this person have gained a fresh perspective. Let's do one more card. Yeah. And how this person is willing to put in the work, how this person has now realized all along what's been the problem. But it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Someone, I mean, this person wants to have improvements and success and to have a happy home life with you. This can be an earth sign, an air sign, and this person is having anxiety or feeling like they have anxiety. But it's this person that broke their own fucking promises. And it could be um, a helpful man out here giving this person good advice. It could be. But yeah, you're about to go through major changes and transitions. And unfortunately and fortunately, this person is going to be seeing you go through them major changes and transitions without them. That's the reading for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.